All right, this lesson is to hopefully help you guys out at home with long division using the area and expanded notation methods with division. Um, I told the kids that I was going to make this video for you guys over the weekend um, to hopefully help you guys uh, get through those homework problems. And I'm going to do the first couple math problems from their homework side in this video to hopefully help you guys out. So uh, here we go. So this first problem, um, the story problem is obviously hardware store, 834 planks. Um, and you got to do that to six building sites. So, so you have 834 divided by six. What you got to do here is you draw the, the area model. Um, and everything for this homework is going to be three boxes. So you're going to have um, the hundreds place here, the tens place here, and the ones place here. So when we were doing the area model with multiplication, we knew when we multiplied by the hundreds, we would have these two zeros there. And so, therefore, I know that I can have these two zeros in my uh, box. So you put the 834 in the first box. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, I'm multiplying by hundreds. So six times how many hundreds will get me as close to 834 as, as possible? Well, if you multiply six by 100, that will give you 600. I can't multiply by 200 because 200 times 6 would be 1,200, and we don't have that many. We only have 834. So you, if you multiply by 100, 100 times 6 is 600. So I'm going to take away that. And what I get left is 234. So what you do is take the 234, and I'm going to put it on top of the next box. So now we're in the tens place. And any time you multiply by a tens place, you're going to have to have a zero. And so, therefore, I put a zero in my um, on top, and that's what they did in the homework page for you as well. They showed you that there's a zero there. Well, if you multiply by a 10 in your answer, you're always going to have at least one zero in the ones place. So that takes care of the 4 and 234. So I don't even care about the 4 right now. All I want to look at is the 23 tens from 234. So what I need to think and ask myself is, okay, 23 tens divided by 6. So really I'm just looking at 23. 23 divided by 6 is what? Or what can I multiply 6 by to get to as close as 23 without going over? Well, if you do your 6s, you have 6 times 1, 6 times 2. 6 times 3 is 18. If I go to 6 times 4, that would be 24, and that's going to be too high. So I know that it is 3 tens. Well, 3 tens is... 30. So I do 3 tens times 6 is 18 tens, or of course 180 here. So that's what I get for my tens box. Just so once again, you're going to subtract 4 times nothing is 4, and then 23 minus 18 is 5. So we have 54 left. Once again, I'm going to take that 54, I'm going to move it to the top box of the ones place. So now when we divide, we are just doing the ones. We have 54 divided by 6, and that just is straight up division. Um, you can use a multiplication chart to help you out, and you will find that 54 divided by 6 is, of course, 9. And we use all 54 that we have left, and we end up with 0. So we have nothing left over. That's good. No remainders. Awesome. So then to find your answer, you just t find out and add up all the top. And that's 100 plus 30 plus 9 is 139. So for this one, I'm going to walk you through and draw it with you and um, kind of take you step by step of how I'm doing this. So the next problem is 1,917 divided by 9. So once again, I'm going to draw my area box. And once again, I'm going to use just three boxes here. And what I was telling the kids, when you set these up, you want to put the big number, the dividend, in the first box, and one of your, divi your divisor, the 9, on the side. So my job right now is to figure out how many hundreds, because this is the hundreds box, so I get two zeros, will go into 1,917 if I'm multiplying by 9. So one, another thing I told the kids, an easy way to set this up, is that you know that this box here is going to be the hundreds box. So just put two zeros on top. And I also know that if I'm going to multiply by two zeros, I know I will at least have two zeros as an answer. 
So then the next box here is a tens box. So I know I'm going to have at least one zero up top there, and I know I will at least have one zero that I'm going to subtract or get an answer for. So that's the start. So now the one thing I want to point out here is that see how the one here and the seven here are right above the two zeros? What that really tells me is that I really don't have to worry about the 17 at all. I'm really just focusing on the 19. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, 19 divided by 9, or how close can I get to 19 without going over? So if you do your 9s, well, 9 times 2 is 18. That's really close without going over. So that's what I'm going to go for. So that's how many I could use from the hundreds, or how many hundreds I could use. So I'm going to subtract here. I got 7 minus nothing is 7. 1 minus nothing is 1, and 9 minus 8 is 1. So I have 117 left, and I'm going to put that up into my tens box. So now we are multiplying by tens, and so whenever you multiply by a 10, you're going to have a 0, so I already put that down there. And that takes care of the 7 because it's right below it. So now all I have to worry about is the 11 from 117. So I'm asking myself, okay, 11 divided by 9. How many times can 9 go into 11? Well, I can go in one time. And 1 times 9 is 9. So I have 117 minus 90. 7 minus 0 is 7. And 11 minus 9 is 2. So I have 27 left. And that goes on top of the next box, 27. Now I'm left with my 1's place. 27 divided by 9 is 3. 3 times 9 is 27. When I subtract, I end up with 0 left. And that's great because I don't have a remainder. So my answer is the top of the box, 213. All right, so now let's try some expanded. So number 2 and 3 on the homework side is asking you to do expanded form. And looks like I already did number 2 with area, but let's do number 3 with expanded form. So here we go. So we're going to divide 1,400. 98 and we're going to divide that by 7. So with this, this is a uh, very similar and I hope you guys will see some patterns here of the kind of the old school way that we learned how to divide when we were in school. So of course, we want to start in the the greatest place value in the thousands. And when I tell the kids, it's okay, we'll try. I mean, can you take can you do can 9 go into 1? And no, I mean 9 can or I'm sorry, 7. My fault. 7 cannot go into 1, so then I want to combine it with a 14. Alright? So, this is 1,400. So I know that I'm in the hundreds once again. So that takes care of the 98, and I'm looking at just 14. Well, 7 can go into 14 perfectly two times. So that takes care of 1,400. Well, all that's left, of course, when you do minus here, is 98. Okay? So now, I'm in, now I want to multiply by a 10 to get to as close as 98 as possible. So when you multiply by a 10, you have, you're going to have a 0 in the 1's place. So I put a 0 here, and I put a 0 down here. So I'm just looking at 9. And how many times can 7 go into 9? Or another way to think of it is 9 divided by 7 is 1. Well, I can go in 1 time. And 10 times 7 is going to give me 70. So once again, I'm going to subtract, and I'm left with 28. So that's all I have left to divide. 28 divided by 7. Well, 28 divided by 7. 7 will go in perfectly if you multiply by 4 times. And out of room here, but I'm going to minus a 28 down there, and of course I'd end up with 0. So but your answer is the top, 200 plus 10 plus 4 is 214. All right. So I'm going to go back actually to do number 2 again. I know I already got this answer, and what I keep telling the kids a lot is it really doesn't matter what the answer is. It's about the method right now. We're going to worry about the answers later. Um, but the method and practice is important. So I'm actually going to go back and do number 2 again, but using the expanded form here. So um, let's set it up again. We have... 1,917 under the under the thing there with 9 on the side. 
So, once again, you start with a thousands place. 9 cannot go into 1, so I'm going to combine it with 19. So how many times can 9 go into 19? Well, uh, 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 is really, 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 really close. So I'm going to multiply by 200. Once again, this isn't, uh, this isn't really a 19. It's 1900. So I'm going to multiply by 200. 200 times 9 is 1800. So you're going to subtract. And I'm left with 117. So now I'm going to be multiplying by a 10. And I'm going to put a 0 on top again and a 0 down below because I'm multiplying by 10. The main reason why I do that, once again, is anytime you multiply by 10, you're going to have a 0 in the 1's place. I mean, 10 times 5 is 50. 50 has a 0 in the 1's place. So that's why I keep putting that 0 down there. Um, so let's go ahead and, and look at the 11 here. So we have... 117 divided by 9, and really, once again, I'm looking at just the 11 here. So 11 divided by 9. 11 divided by 9, well, 9 can go into 11 one time. So 10 times 9 is 90. Go ahead, go ahead and subtract. You get 0 and 2, or I'm sorry, 27. So we have 27 left. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And we use up all 27, subtract, and you end up with zero left, which is great. No remainder once again. So here is our answer. The quotient is 213. All right. Well, I really hope that helped. I know it's very, very, very different than the way we learned it when we were in school. Um, if honestly, to, to be fully honest with you, if your son or daughter is just not getting it or if they're not picking up on it, uh, you're more than welcome to go back, rewind this video, and try it with me step by step. Uh, practice makes perfect, to be honest with you. Uh, I will be teaching the kids the step by step or the old school way that we learned how to do it as well. So um, if, if these methods just are not working for you at home, uh, we'll just keep chugging away at school. It's a slow but steady process. Same thing with multiplication. Just trust me, it works. Um, and just, just hang in there, okay? Just do the best you can. If the kids get them all wrong, I'm not worried, okay? It's just one day at a time. And if they start catching on, that's awesome. If not, we'll just keep plugging away and we'll get them there by the end. So I appreciate your, your energy and your efforts at home. And I know this isn't easy. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.